All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is GTA Ratch Gaming, and I welcome you. I welcome you to my first ever proper tutorial. Now, before we begin, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to turn on all notifications and be notified whenever I stream, upload, or do anything on the community tab. That being said, a massive thank you to 3 John Doe 2006 for subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope you stick around for the future, buddy. So, today, today, oh my goodness, I am very excited, but at the same time, at the same time, I'm nervous. Because we can all make mistakes. That's a given. We can very much make mistakes. So, today is a tutorial on how to mod the soundtrack for, wait a minute, get one moment please. Yeah, like I said, th this is a tutorial, tut tut tutorial, I need to get my pronunciations correct. It's a tutorial for Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 for Dreamcast, PlayStation, possibly Xbox, and including PC. Maybe even GameCube. Jesus. That's a lot of systems, by the way. That's a lot of systems. So, before we get up and running. Before we get up and running. What I tend to do on the... What I tend to do on these kind of videos. Or not videos, uh, streams. What I tend to do on the streams. As of recently, the past few, good few months. Is to mention what I'm drinking. And encourage my viewers to be way way more hydrated so today we have a we have a, a mixture of drinks so to speak uh one of them being red bull others being monster and all sorts you know it's um it's not sponsored this is not a sponsored stream or video or whatever and my audio solution seems to be working so that's good it's very lovely but guys Guys, we have a we have a lot to get through. As you can currently see, Sonic Adventure 2 is nowhere to be found. Because I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something, and it's very important that I do so. This modding method works on virtually every every copy of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Because the file systems are virtually the same, regardless of console. They're just coded a little differently to work on said uh, console. With that being said, let's hop on into the PlayStation Store. I'm on my Japanese account because I have a trial of Sonic Adventure 2 that I can use. A trial that I might add. A trial that I, I might add. Uh, doesn't really expire. I've had it for ages. I've had it on a system for months. And it did not expire once. So we're going to do a good few things here. One, we're actually going to download the game. Which can be found down here. As you can see, wow, that is a corrupted Jet Set logo. Uh, picture, by the way. Oh, microphone needs lowered a little bit. So I, Sonic Adventure 2, like I teased on the on the community tab earlier. Uh, here we go. We're going to download that. Then we'll go over to the PC. So we'll download this in the background, and we'll see how long it takes. This is just to put it into the background. Need I uh, say more? Once this is, since this is um doing its thing, I will put the link out for this. Now it's a very basic mod, and first and foremost, you do you do need a modified console. Except on the Dreamcast side, you can just burn an, uh, burn uh, the modified ISO to um CD, play it that way. Or if you're if you're playing the Steam or raw PS or raw PC versions or 
using an emulator or something. You can still do this. The premise is, once, once we get to the PC side of things, uh, I'll talk more about that. So we want to quit out the store because of the things I'm holding. I just want to see how long it will take because I don't want this part to go on for forever. If you know what I mean. It shouldn't go on forever, so download management. So leave that up there. Just look at that noise. That should only take a few minutes. So my videos, hopefully the thumbnail showing, the correct one showing. Lovely. Uh, if there's any chats, I'll take this time to catch up on them. So yeah, the tools to do this on the PC, on the tools to generally do this are in the description. I will be doing, I will be utilizing a mostly PC side uh, section of this. It is called FTP, File Transfer Protocol. It just basically means you can transfer a file from your PC to the receiving end, in this case PS3, uh, without having to use USB or anything like that. You can... <coughs> Wow, my voice is dying. You can use USB, but I've always had bad luck with USB and I'm never ever reaching their highest uh, speeds. So we will indeed be using a uh, file transfer protocol. And for that, we will be using FileZilla, in fact. FileZilla. So I'll get the link, I'll get the stream link put out because YouTube doesn't do it automatically. So I'll have to do it manually and be like, yo. <laughs> uh, see, I've done a couple of how-to vid videos in the past. One, one of them was heavily disliked. Because people thought I had faked it, when in reality I had used a PS2 to USB adapter to use the PlayStation 2 controller on my PS3. Because every controller I had at the time had died. They were no longer working. So, I'm quickly finalising the uh, tweet. And we shall hop on to the PC side. We don't have to sit around and wait for this for too long because my internet connection is amazingly fast uh, for UK standards. I keep typing wrong. This is incredibly problematic. So hopefully the goal of this tutorial is to teach you how to add in kind of your own soundtrack to Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. The files are all the same for uh, the soundtrack. They're all ADX and they need to be converted. So that's what we're going to do. Just after I send this link out. Lovely Chupley. Alright. So live chat is now turned on. Uh, I should receive any and all chats. If, you, if someone wants to get their chat noticed, they can feel free to send a super chat, by the way. If you want your chat to get noticed much quicker. And to make your text look fancy. So let's see, can we trip you all out for a second? Oh, I need to add something into OBS real quick. Is this what I'm after? I think it is. Oh, that is not a lovely sight. I do apologize. So I'm overlaying this for some reason. I should have done this before streaming. I'm very unprofessional. I do apologize. 
Oh, we could do some cool stuff with this, by the way. But we need this full screen because we can we can easily turn this part off. So that's the thing. So what? Wow. Once we get this full screen, or well, for you guys at least. All right. We should now be able to see a bunch of my stuff. All right. So all we have to do is. Well, we'll go back to PS3 first because we need one very, very important part. Uh, one moment, please. Why is it over everything else? That's terrible. I do apologize for being amazingly unprofessional. I knew things would go wrong. I just didn't think it would be like this. So let's quickly do a thing on air. Be like, hey. I don't need my headset just yet. Because we we are going to be doing a bunch of gameplay once we're done with this. So go back out of this, we don't need to see that right now. Uh, let's turn on display capture once again. It should trip out real quick in a second. Or not. I am very terrible at this streaming gig, by the way. So now, you should be able to see my screen. You very much should be able to. So, right. Right here we have FileZilla. We should be able to connect to the PS3. So, this is where the double screen effect thing would come in handy, I believe. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so on the far right side, you can see my host name and IP address. That will not be there for you guys, so let me show you real quick what you need to do. So for file transfer protocol, you need, you need your PS3's IP address, which you could find along its settings, system settings, and down here at system information. So that's that. We are done with that. I'm on a debugging kit with a uh, Rebox DREX installed. Now I only wanted DREX just for homebrew. I'm too lazy to sign my to sign homebrew myself. But debugging kits have the IP address that you need to connect with on the bottom right hand part of the screen. So that's that. So, right, let's put, bring this back up. Let's bring display capture back up and make it full screen again for you guys. Oh, is that covering something? I don't think it was. My bad. See, this is the benefit of doing it live. You figure things out. And in a couple of minutes, Sonic Adventure 2 should be finished downloading. Lovely. So once again, my IP for the PS3 on the network is 192.168.0.31. So we want to go to FileZilla, go to host, 192.168.0.31, I believe it was, and then hit Quick Connect. This server does not support FTP over TLS, if you continue your password, the files will be sent in clear over the internet. Okay, so we should be able to get access to the PS3 very shortly, I think. And there we have it, on the right hand side, we have access to the PS3's internal storage. So, right. So, dev hard drive zero is what you want. Now, I cannot say the same thing for Xbox. But at this point, we do need to wait for the PS3 to finish downloading Sonic. So let me show you how to convert songs. As you can see on the left, I have a bunch of artists. And a whole lot of songs going back from 2008, basically. Although the date created won't actually show that because... Meh. I don't know why. So let's, just, let's say we want to replace... City Escape, I think. 
Uh, let's pick uh, June Senoe. Senoe's uh, Works album. Let's pick a song off of that, or Works 2 rather. So we have Escape from the City, the Blue Blood remix. Copy that. Paste it. And then we open up this program here Pez Sound File Converter. Now, this is for converting audio tracks from. Well, it's meant to be used for Pro Evolution Soccer, but the there's a bunch of program, there's a bunch of uses to it, like converting WAV, WAVs to MP3 and ADX and all sorts. So we want to run this, and hopefully our anti. Oh, that's an installer. Never mind. Yeah, so the installer should be. There should be a link to the installer. You install it to your system, and you're done. This is the one we actually need to click. My apologies. So we can just drag and drop MP3 files, but it's easier to do this. Convert MP3 from, so you have a drop down from AIX, ADX, MP3, WAV, to WAV, I, AIX, ADX. So we want ADX. Once you picked your song and dragged it or browsed for it into this here, Click next, and then what we want to do to make things tidy is use source directory, and then click. We want to yeah leave everything at default, and then click con convert, and it should start right away. Done. Now let's put that put that away. Now you'll see a file just above what we put, uh, what we dragged over, copied over. Song six, uh, track six, Escape from the City, Blue Blood Mix .adx. So that's a very good thing. Very good. We have our track to insert into the game. But wait, there's more. There's more. We have to actually dis uh, disconnect from this for a second. So we'll reconnect back to the PS3. By disabling this. And let's just bloody hope. Oh, we're 59% done. That's fine. That'll let us that'll give us enough time to pick a bunch of tracks and do whatever basically. So we're gonna pick a bunch of tracks, convert them to ADX first and foremost, and then voila! You shall have set tracks. I should have started downloading this at the start, because it's taking a, a little bit longer than I estimated. But, but, a big but, and I cannot lie. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to chuck a like on the video. Because, you know, this is my first tutorial, and I kind of want to do more on different topics. So there's that. But it's a good way for me to rate, or not rate, to gauge even get your uh, enjoyment off the video so if you're enjoying it slap a like on it that lets me know right away that you 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 as the audience are enjoying my content and you may get more uh tutorials or even gameplay or whatever and don't forget to have a drink because right now that's very important for me. Even though it's not hot, even though it's not it's not like hot as it was yesterday in my room. So I'm like, hey, let's just you know chill. Oh lordy, I just knocked a mic. My unprofessionalism is over 9,000. Okay, so... Right. I do believe I have a bunch of tracks already pre-set out. Ah, uh, for Sonic Adventure 2. So let me quickly turn off display capture. I'll let you look at that. Because I don't want to reveal certain bits of information. Or rather, I don't want to risk certain bits of information getting out that shouldn't be there. So I do believe I have a bunch of tracks for 
Sonic Adventure 2. I mean, I do have many, many disk, disk drives, so it could take a few minutes. Well, carbonation occurs in my body, and that's that burping. Right, where the bloody hell are you? You know what? I can't seem to actually find the tracks that I had from the last venture I had into this. Because you know, I'm a sound guy. I, I very much enjoy uh, what goes on behind. Or, um, I very enjoy, I very much enjoy working with sound, even though my sound itself is not the best, and I don't have experience with the technicalities of sound. Ah, uh, where the bloody hell are these tracks? I had a bunch of tracks all set up. Like from my last venture into this, but never mind. Never mind, you, there's a big, there's a massive ass benefit to all this. It means that we can go through this together and pick out tracks. So there's a couple of, there's a track I want to throw in from... Where are you? The Gaming Muso. I recently picked up his album, uh, Gaming Muso Volume 1. I also picked up physical, so that's very good. Link's in the description for that in case you want to buy it. But basically, these are all cover tracks from various video games throughout the years. And I thought it would be nice to pick a couple of Sonic ones, or rather the only Sonic ones he has in the album, which would be Emerald Hill from Sonic 2, and Windy and Ripley from Sonic Adventure 1. So let's copy these on over. And also, metadata does not transfer, so don't worry about that. If you're really, as you can, see, ah, you can see here that I've also I've already been working on like a Sonic Adventure One mod for Emerald Coast One and Two, and I think for Three. How bizarre! So one of the things that you can do is edit audio, not with the PES program. Oh, definitely. So one of the things you might even see you might even see remixes that I haven't released yet, so we'll have to be very, very careful. I'll use Never Turn Back as an example. From Crush 40's album Supersonics at the best of Crush 40 Supersonic Songs. So what we want to do minimize that go into Audacity of all things. Because we're going to set this up to be a part... We're going to set this up to be the track of a level. So we want to make sure it's ready and not not got like loose pieces to it. So we're going to open this up. And I have to make... I have to sa save our um, export first. Export as mp3. Make sure it's in a place that I can actually... I uh, utilize at this point in time. Where is my location for this? We're on D drive, so we should be fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm very much sorry. It's very much going to take a wee while. So we'll save it. We can save it here. We can just do whatever. Uh, reset. Clear. Okay. This this edit is doing nothing, but it's what it's doing for us is setting the export path. So the next track we load up, we should be able to automatically. We should be able to automatically, like, save it to that directory. So I'm going to my headphones for this part because reasons. Now, if you don't know. The song Never Turns Back has like a 35 second piano piece. So let's have a listen. You might not even be able to listen if the audio is not up. That should be enough. And then it just cuts away like this. 
then into the song. Like that! You see? <laughs> so what we want to do is cut away the piano piece. So this is very much optional by the way. This is very, very optional. So Control S. I have it set to Control S to cut the audio right there. Uh, but by default it's Control I. There's a bonus tutorial for you. So we click delete. Done. And there you have it for that. So export as MP3. Click on that. Yes, replace it. So with insane preset, because why why would you go any any different? Why would you pick a lower preset? So we don't need to save changes, not project. So there we go, refresh, done. Okay, that clearly didn't do it. I don't know why. Did we? Oh, I see, I see. Never mind. I'm an idiot. This might be the right one. Yes, it is. See, this is the ben This is the benefit of live streaming a tutorial. It means you get to see all the screw ups. So we're going to pick one of my remixes next. Uh, oh, that's going to show up. That's going to show a bunch of memes. Oh, uh, some of these memes are very NSFW. So one moment, please. Oh, and Sonic Adventure 2 is done. At least I would hope so. So let's go up and install that. I don't know why it just doesn't install, but reasons. I guess. Oh, we also have Soul Calibur 5. That's a mod that's coming out at some point. So we want Package Manager, install PlayStation Network content. By default, your bubble for it will be on the home screen, or the one of the bits in the game tab, depending on how you have things set up. So we have a bunch here. We're going to get rid of this. I already have that installed. Delete complete. So we want to install this. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> so this will take a wee while to install. Because PlayStation. So whilst that happens, I'll make sure none of the memes that I have are NSFW. So <laughs> Hey, he's got, he's got dirty memes. Demonetized. <sighs> right, so... Uh, where the bloody hell did I put that? Oh, it's not even in the directory I thought it was. Guys, I do apologize. I'm very silly. I'm not thinking straight. Ugh. Yeah, he promised us a tutorial and now he's giving us bollocks. <laughs> I've kind of forgotten where I put the files for this. Uh... Well, you guys are getting to see the game installs it's like 8% now so oh my god I don't want to have to rip my own friggin remix that's a thing you shouldn't have to do I was meant to have all this prepared and now I can't find my project files absolute heresy I can tell you still is about heresy Oh man, this is bollocks. I forgot where to put them. Never mind, it's in the folder that I thought they were in. So I need to sort. I'm not even showing you guys. What the hell? Terrible. I'm a very terrible YouTuber, by the way. Very, very terrible. You're going to see some stuff that I'm working on. But I don't care about that. You can see 11 Learns of Ladder Space 2. Should hopefully be the right one. Oh, lovely, jubbly, just exactly like that. And I shall take one more. Actually, there's something else I'd like to put in. 
Uh, let's see. I'd like to change the Green Hill theme. Is this the official one? Oh, yes, it is. Lovely. That's adorable. It's a shame they didn't put that in Sonic Adventure 2. They gave us a remix of uh, Green Hill Zone, and it was terrible. Yes, some people do like that, but, you know, I am not one of those people. Where the frack is it? I've got things so disorganized here. Uh, is this it? Yes, that's the one I want. Now you can tell these are all rips. I don't care though. Are we even done yet with this install? Nope! 31% done! Oh, the choice! What the hell is this notification, by the way? Oh! Thanks, eBay! You're so helpful! Oh, crevins. Ugh. Right. Yeah, I'm kind of stalling because I've forgotten what the directory's like for uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Well, not forgotten, but I've forgotten the file names because we need to. We need to. Re we all. We obviously need to rename the ADX files. So that's definitely something we have to get done. Uh, let's see. Crap! What else can we put in? Because I don't know the names for all of them. I don't. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm kind of struggling a little bit. I'm not putting in Starlight, because Starlight doesn't fit for Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, yeah, let's go and put in Last Christmas by Wham. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. Okay, I have a bunch of oldies here. Uh, let's... Let's randomly chuck in bloody seven eggs in hand, shall we? Uh, and how is this looking? 51% done! Oh boy, oh boy. So, right. To, if you want to put in multiple, if you want to highlight multiples uh, that are in different areas of the screen, Highlight one, or rather, highlight one, hold down control, and just highlight the rest. It's as easy as that. We've already compared that one, we don't need to. Oh, lovely jubbly. So we now have a bunch of tracks we can, we can convert, if we can see things properly. Can we throw in something random? Something that I'm not going to get struck for. Because, ugh, friggin' copyright, even though it's fair use. I don't want to risk it. Oh, we have Generation Gap, they do use that quite good stuff. Hmm. You know what, let's chuck in another remix. Because why the hell not? Right. Something I won't get hit for. Hmm. Yeah, we could chuck in the Final Fantasy X freaking boss music or something. Or battle music. Battle music even. Meh. You know what? We're going to do Caramel Dancing. We'll do Caramel Dancing. Just piss off everyone. So Caramel Dancing Remix Part 2. Also on my GTA Rage 2 channel, in case you're wondering where to find that piece of nonsense nonsense not nonsense nonsense is something completely different from nonsense so next use source directory so you'll see a whole ton of friggin uh adx files so second drink of this live stream red bull sugar free lovely 
so now we're all we're converting them and we'll literally just have to wait that didn't take long so we don't need to have that open anymore because oh I didn't even show you nice I was literally doing the same things before converting uh, tracks. I better yet. I better yet. Let me just show you that again, real quick. But uh, how can you show us again? It's a live stream, not an edited video. Well, exactly like this, pick another song and convert, drag, drop, next, convert, cancel, I believe, I guess. Oh wow, it converted so quick that I didn't even have time to cancel. Lovely. I could sit here and convert all day if we wanted to. So, yeah, we can cover the main menu music, we can cover City Escape. Green forest, friggin' whatever we can do it. <laughs> oh lordy! Uh, we already have a couple of gaming weasel tracks, which is fine. That's lovely, jubbly. Uh, I just really want to get this friggin' installed. So let's minimize that. All of that, in fact. And let's see how it's doing. Ninety-eight percent. Come on! Come on! See, this is why we should be throwing SSDs into systems, into PSD consoles. Watch this, so it'll be like, hey, I've not got enough space left. Oh, 99% done. We are getting there. This tutorial has been going for 37 minutes. And if you're still watching even after 37 minutes, Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to turn on all notifications. And if you wish to, feel free to become a channel member. That way you'll get... Uh, I can't think. Terrible. Yeah, if you become a channel member, you get exclusive benefits. Ranging from loyalty badges, custom emoji that are currently being worked on, um, yeah, you get shout outs. Every new channel member gets a live shout out. But, people, why are you stuck on please wait? Come on, don't be like this. Every, every person, every new uh, channel member gets shouted out live on here during the Either the same, either the same live stream that they, they become a member in, or the next one. And all members get a shout out during the credits of uh, edited videos. Which means I would have to do more edited videos. Lovely. Also, it deleted it after installing it. Nice. Lovely. So we now have Sonic Adventure 2. Let's launch that real quick. Just to show that it is indeed Sonic Adventure 2. It's the Japanese version. You saw me go into the PS Store and download it. You saw me download it. You saw me install it. This is Japanese. Or from the Japanese store. But it's also in English as well. Just saying. Right. Very small percentage of people may experience a seizure. Nice. No, not nice! So this is just the initial boot of the game to show you that it's fresh. Hopefully you all can hear that. Lovely job. See? Now we can go ahead and browse the 
friggin... We can now go ahead and browse the PS3's hard disk, copy paste a bunch of file names and be done with it. If I'm honest. So once again we... Once I come to display capture... We don't need pairs open anymore. So what we're gonna do... Go back into FileZilla. And we should have our IP from before. You can grab the, uh, the last IP, or the last few IPs that you've connected to, via Quick Connect. By clicking the little down arrow and going to this. Yes, it's fine. So, there we go. Right on the bloody thing. So, we need to... We now need to navigate to Dev Hard Drive Zero. No, no, darling. <laughs> Dev Hard Drive Zero, not Dev Memory Stick. Yeah, I do have a bunch of stuff connected, like uh, Memory Sticks and all that. So if I remember, it's not in games. That's that's a freaking mod thing. I am having to revise, or not revise, refresh my memory. So I believe it's home, and on the second account. So, this, bu this bunch of numbers here, once you click on home, these are all the accounts that are on the PS3. So, zero, zero, uh, number one is my main Japanese and a spare account that I purchased Persona 3 from in case it got banned. So, that's the thing. So, go in here, and I think... Ah, frack. Eee, I forgot where I was at. Wait, there's still data for like chat and home and all that. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing. I've kind of forgotten where I'm meant to go as a data or something. Guys, I've screwed up badly. I do apologize. Ah, uh, TMP as temporary. Oh, lordy! Yeah, I've kind of forgotten where to go. So what we need, to, what we'll probably need to do, what we'll probably need to do is this caffeine hits me like a friggin' truck. Is to force log out my account and go into the other one, so I'm signed out. It doesn't affect anything, the game will still run. And we'll do it via, uh, via multi man. If it comes to it, I'll have to live check how to do this thing. So. Okay, so we're in multi-man. It doesn't look the best! Wait, you just have to put up with that. Oh, this is so confusing. So I do believe it's probably something like data or... You know what, it's been so long. It's been so long since I've done anything here. Uh... Yeah, I've forgotten how to navigate to installed games. Oh, lordy. Save data, temporary, video, VM, VSH. Probably isn't even that. Guys! I suck at tutorials. One moment, please. Uh, let's see. <sighs> right. It might just be for ISOs, but I should really check Dev Hard Drive. 
Not even that. I've got some friggin' drift on this thing. Uh, might just be in game. Yeah, oh my days, guys. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we're quite a multi man. We found where the games are installed. I'm an idiot. I should have done my research. Or rather, it should be bore into my mind. It should be in my mind. Because I've been doing this for so long. And now my credibility is like dead. Okay, so Dev Hard Drive Zero. Game. And now we just have to look for the one that is the Sonic Adventure 2. Which. We'll use Multi Man for that. In fact. So. Right, here's the thing. You may be wondering to yourself why are we going to be using Multi Man? Why are we using Multi Man? Why? Well, for the simple reason. Simple reason. We could check our file and folder names on the fly. Get that out of the way. So I, I, I originally picked that NP, NPJ file thinking it's Sonic Adventure. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're done there. So if you don't know a game's ID, so to speak, uh, you can always use Multiman to check on it. That only counts for PS3, by the way. You'll have to do your own research when it comes to GameCube, Dreamcast, well not Dreamcast, because you'll have the ISO. So this is the one that we need. Should be display capture on. Lovely. Set my controller aside. So we want to go to C00, or not, rather, um, not that, US Direct, US Dir, and I do believe it's in GDPSN. Oh, never mind. So, this is going to be what most things look like. So, if you look at the top right here, we're now in NPJ, NPJ, uh, B00188 Where within the folder U USR DIR D -I -R. So, right That is going to be a, That specific folder This one here is going to be different For each console It's going to be different for each console However, the contents <laughs> The content folders like GDPSN, or rather, the contents of GDPSRN, or GDPSN, or I should say, uh, the, these contents will mostly remain the same. What What is guaranteed 100% to remain the same are folders like Event and ADX. So what we want to do, take a look at the names, and then rename our ADX files to match them. So just bring that out a bit. Come on. There we go. So using this, we can identify. We can identify. A level name. Now, granted, I'm not 100% on a bunch of these, so just cut me some slack on that one, did you guys? So right, we have G Hill, which is Green Hill Zone, because that's a that's an unlockable once you get all of the emblems of the game. Then we have the invincibility theme. Uh, prison Lane. Which is Tails' first mission, I believe. Uh, something Highway. Hmm. Radical Highway. Something Ocean. Sky Rail. Speed Up Sound Effect. You get the idea. And we also have Themes. 
So the first theme is Shadow. Oh, that's a good thing. Uh, let's do a little quick conversion. Uh, whilst we're at it, let's, let's uh, bring Shadow's theme over from Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, let's... Oh, can we use the... Do we have the magnify version? You can just press a letter on the keyboard and it'll go to the first letter that you press. Or the first uh, item that comes up from that letter. So if you press F... Uh, I pressed M. So we get mag magna, which I... You know, reasons. We could do a sound test to verify a bunch of these as well. So and that's a very good thing. Magnify all hail shadow. Crush forty did the initial song, so or rather, who I am was meant to be the theme. Then it was changed to magnify all hail shadow, and then it was changed again to crush forty all hail shadow. I believe. I may be wrong. I am wrong a lot of times. So what we can do is we can copy the name. So right click, rename, or rather, not even that. Right click, rename, <laughs> T1 underscore shadow. Not a W, you have to copy the name exactly. Or else it won't register. Now if you want to, regi if you want to register, you have to get the name 100% correct. And one other thing I want to convert. Real quick. It's going to get annoying for you guys. But this is my personal copy of the game. So I want to get things done correctly. Uh, let's go back to Jonathan Oe's folder real quick. Jonathan Oe. The works. Number two. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who is wrong and who is right. So copy that. Or not copy, convert. Use source directory because they're all in the same place. It makes it easier to convert. Right, close. Close, we don't need that anymore. So, we've got all these converted. So we just have to pick the stages, rename them. So this one's going to be T1 Sonic. So rename T1 underscore Sonic. And this is how you mod it, this is how you mod it. But we're going to get gameplay as well. We are going to get gameplay. So if you if you want to... Oh, pardon me. Oh, root! Root, I'm root, I apologize. So what we need to do is, on the left screen, is navigate to D drive. Media. Uh, Sonic Adventure 1 mods. Because it's literally... It's not even the one I want. Come on. Where are you at? And everything we have is right here and it will be updated in real time. So that's definitely a thing. So there we have it. On the right hand side again we have everyone's themes. So let's go with Tails for one. Miles. Miles, Tails, Power. So let's do Emerald. Let's Rename. Let's rename James Marsh, James Marsh, aka the Gaming Musos, Emerald Hill Zone to Tails' theme tune. So let's go T3 underscore Miles. And notice I do have file extensions enabled. So you would normally go to something like file or whatever, I don't know. Ah. Sonic also has a secondary theme which I don't know anything about. Interesting. Uh we could convert that thing. We could convert it and be like yo. Yeah, let's let's convert it back. You can convert ADX to MP3 if you want to rip the soundtrack. Or come on. Or drag drop MP3 files. Uh from ADX to WAV. So drag drop ADX. Next, source directory, convert. Let's have a listen. Oh! So that's a trial sample. Or not trial sample, it's a smaller sample. Oh 
Okay, so we now have multiple things we can uh, put things to, so to speak. So right here we have the cat theme. I don't necessarily like. I don't necessarily like it, and I've just realised I haven't converted magnifies all hell shadow. So that is going to be necessary because we'll, we'll we can test a bunch of these. Where did I see it? There we go. We could test a bunch of these in game, which frankly is super friggin' helpful. Wait, did we already convert it? I think. Uh, yeah, we did. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Ignore me. Ugh. Now, I want to put a boss theme in. I want to convert one of the boss themes. So I just have to look for it, which boss underscore seven, or rather boss underscore zero seven. So I want to rename this to boss underscore zero seven, seven, because there's not an eighth boss. And that should hopefully convert, or that should hopefully replace the standard live and learn from the game. To my his world solar space to eleven lamp remix, which you can check out on my GTA Rage Two channel. Wink, wink. <laughs> so we're going to convert uh, Never Turn Back to Radical Highway. Radical Highway, where are you, buddy? Come on. R H W Y. So let's go. R underscore H W Y. That's radical high. Radical highway, even. Lovely. I love messing things up so bad. It's terrible. I was going to do the main theme. I can't seem to. I don't. I can't seem to identify it uh, at this point in time. But once I get a full uh, sound mod done, I will be releasing it. Oh, we have Metal, Har um, Metal Harbor. We shall put... What could we put as that? Actually, we won't even do that. Or rather, we can. Uh, friggin' frack. I know this is long and boring, you guys. I know it's long and boring. But it kind of has to happen. I want to teach people how to do this. So we'll grab a we can. We can overcome all the odds. So let's drag and drop. See see how quick and easy it is to convert. This is the section that applies to all systems that run Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 both use the ADX audio file format. So once you go into the ADX folder within either game, yes, they both have it, you can you should be able to identify each and every individual theme, stage, and character theme, or whatever, and make your own ADX using the software provided. Uh, which I just closed. So we want to rename we can to M unders underscore even H A R B one. Now, this is the important part. There's an important part because it's say escape, and we want to replace all three. I bet you didn't know say escape had three themes. The first one is being City Escape. The, f the second one is when you're revived. When you're revived, you get the whistle and then the theme plays. But it's all one file. So you can see where this is going. And the third one is basically the gun uh, truck chase. So that's that. We have Crazy Gadget. Which we will not be getting that far into the game. So, oh Nelly. <laughs> So what to convert, um, convert, rename 
to C or C underscore E escape escape not not E but then one. I'm gonna speed the process up hopefully. Paste and paste again. So we can just just then rename them. They're all the same song. To say escape two, and then say escape three. Done. That's us converted what we need to convert. Except it's not because freaking green forest is a thing. Ah, uh, let's see. Green forest should be down at G for G spot. Ooh, I just went loot for a second. Terrible. <laughs> so what we're gonna put cri um, crisis say crisis say come on buddy rename to G underscore for S not T we don't fully spell out forest. And that's that. Now, hmm. I've got the caramel dancing theme bit. I don't know what to put that as. Um. After I, what the hell's Tails' first mission? I was well as just doing that. Uh, one moment, please. Hmm. Okay, so Sonic SonicRetro.org is being so helpful right now. Wait, the first we can replace the first boss battle, in fact. So boss. Underscore is zero one. So caramel dancing. This is going to be cringe. <laughs> Boss underscore zero one. Done. So that's us replaced two boss themes. Thanks to Sonic Retro for that, by the way. So, right. We want to refresh this. I said it was going to do it in real time, but I actually didn't. I am now disappointed in myself. Uh, we're done, it doesn't matter, never turn back. We didn't do seven rings at hand though. Which is weird. Did I close it? No, I didn't. Uh, Prison Lane is Tails' first mission, or Dr. Eggman, I should think. Oh, I don't know what mission uh, boss that would come under. Would it be Zero 2? Uh, 2A. Oh, that's right! 2A two, two is for Tails' side. And when you're Eggman, you can fight Tails. It, it's a reverse fight, and they use the same theme. So that's a thing. Uh, let's do seven rings in hand as boss underscore zero two A. Where's the caps? No, it's not. It's not even. Why would it be? So. We just do the same as what we did before, but we change it to a B. Done. Fantastic. I should really be monitoring chat, but, you know. So here's the part you've all been waiting for. The transfer process. So, if you're on, if you're transferring it uh, to a different console, this the USB section applies only to PS3 and Xbox 360 if you're running a JTAG. But, but, it's literally drag and drop if you're running the Steam or PC version. Now there is a difference. There's a difference. I have to make sure I don't go into standby mode. We are not in standby mode. Nice. Ooh. Right. US 
like I said, USB only applies to the PS3 and Xbox 360 if you so happen to be transferring via USB. I know you can transfer to Xbox 360 using file transfer protocol. And that's the method we will be using. But if you're transferring to piece if you're transferring to Xbox or PS3 using USB, you might just want to create a folder called ADX. We'll do this just for simplicity. And then you drop all of your now converted ADX files into the file provided. Uh, not not provided. Uh, the file thing that you created. So we have, in fact, we can just right click, cut, ADX, paste. Now with FileZilla, right click, refresh. Now we go into ADX, highlight them all, drag them over. Now we get this, you'll get this box appearing. The target file already exists. Please choose an action. Overwrite. Overwrite of source newer. Overwrite of different size. Overwrite of different size or source newer. Resume. Rename. Risk or skip. Uh, so we want to just overwrite. And we just keep clicking it for all of the files. Now keep in mind, your speeds will be significantly slower if you are using Wi-Fi, especially on the PS3. That appears to be all of them transferred over. So successful transfers 15. And you can see everything we've transferred so far. And that's it. Guys, that's literally it. So, who's ready? To test this out. I am. So let's jump into it. <laughs> I am excited for this. Now, now I can put both these cups on. Oh mate, this is going to be good. Unless it died. Which I highly doubt it. Oh, I think it has died. Yeah, I think the PS3's died a bit. Oh, it's a, it's a kind of soft locked. Uh, one moment, please. Now I can close out a file with Zilla. Yes, we can just eh, okay there. Oh, controller's not even on. That's a terrible thing. Okay, so don't want to do that. If it does it again, we'll just you know do whatever. However, it should work. Oh, there we go. It worked this time. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that might happen on PlayStation. I don't know about Xbox or Dreamcast or whatever. I've, on I've only had success. With the Dreamcast, uh, Steam, PC, and all that. But as you can see, it's working. File select. Let's just make a new file, shall we? Uh, help and options. Options. 
Okay, so... I forgot where sound test is. Never mind. Oh, it's an extra. Duh. <laughs> sound test. So let's try. Oh, yeah. At tails. Okay, but then Ash changes. Yeah, we didn't change Rouge. Uh, I don't remember changing Tails as well, but never mind. Yeah, we haven't started anything yet, so what's that? So, yeah, so we, we, I've shown you how to gain access to all of these using the PS3 version as a test. So that's definitely something I hope you appreciate. Ah, uh, don't do that. Uh, we need to go one player to play. And let's start hero. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Here it is! I feel that. So this is the Blue Blood remix. So enjoy. I shall remain a little bit silent. Oh, come on, give me that. Oh, man. Yes, we got one of the gold beetles. <laughs> Lovely. Oh man, this is beautiful. Okay, maybe not maybe not this, but you know. We phased at the truck. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I was too early for the bar uh, the jump. Terrible. Keep in mind, it's not my best score, and it's not meant to be some kind of run. Yes. Just gameplay. Oh, that's actually quite close to a decent score. Too easy. Piece of cake. Hello, world. <laughs> oh, boy. So that's our first emblem. Definitely. And I very much hope to do more gameplay. We are not just going to sit by. <laughs> oh! Oh no! What have I done? What have I done? No, I've, I've cussed everyone. I feel sorry for anyone who walks in and he has to hear this. Is he gonna come this way? Isn't he meant to fire missiles at me or something? Come on, fire a missile! Why have I cursed everyone? What? It all starts with this. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. Now what's going on? Yeah, this is a Japanese version, but it's got both uh, audio tracks. So that's the thing. Oh lord, dude, do we not have to do friggin' Knuckles' stage? Terrible. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll, we'll do a bit more of the gameplay. But first, first and fucking foremost, I am going to change the audio to... or the voices to... Where we are? Options. Options. You saw me download this. It wasn't even on the PS3. So we're going to change the language for voiceover to Japanese. Because reasons. I didn't realize it would be English. Until the boss battle started. I was like, hey, we're doing a thing. So we'll do a bunch of storyboard, it's Friday, guys, it's Friday. Where the hell? I hate this camera. I'm having that. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be... Where are you at? Come on. I've got some serious stick drift here. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's turn off the controller. I'm going to switch controllers real quick.
uh, what moment? Let's want to set the good loudy. Alright, we're back with a better controller with no drift. Like, what the hell? Is this meant to be a Joy-Con? Does it, is it meant to drift like one? Okay, I actually should mention that if... If and only if... Or rather, when, when you're... Um, Sending file or taking files off your USB to your Xbox or PS3. Use your file manager of choice. I don't know what Xbox uses, but PS3 mainly, mainly uses Multiman. But that is not the only program that or homebrew application that does that. Please do keep that in mind. That being said, once this goes out, I, I personally, will put in a timestamp for where uh, everything begins. Or not everything, but the gameplay begins. That way people can hop in and just guess the song. Oh, give me a friggin' hint. Come on. What do you mean, Luke? Oh. Near the six pillars. Ah, stop blowing me, ding your chip. Wow, the sensitivity on this is so horrible. A dark place. Okay. Try breaking the floating rocks with a glide attack. Oh. Which basically means we have to go up. Go all the way up and just like fly. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Yeah, we'll fall back down. It's fine. Once I get off of this. A dark place. Interesting. Ah. Uh, uh, So near the six pillars in a dark place, try breaking the floating rocks. Got it! Fantastic. <laughs> so once again guys, once again what I'll have you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you have. Make sure you click the notification bell. Uh, to be notified whenever I stream, upload, post in the community tab, or literally do anything on the channel. If you like the Sonic Adventure 2 content, click like. If you like the modding tutorial, also click like. Now keep in mind, it, it was my first ever proper tutorial. I didn't take into, I didn't take into consideration that certain things probably wouldn't work the first time so good lordy i hope you watch all this th watch this through all the way because you know it's going to be to me to me i take pride in what i do let me just pop that down a bit 
I take pride in what I do. I ve I love what I do. Do playing games and enjoying them with others is what I like doing the most. Like out of life, aside from like hanging with friends, and all that, you know, I take a lot of pride in it. And if I enjoy it, I hope you enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy my content, tell me why. And I'll see what I can do to improve the content. Uh, all criticism is very much welcome. So we c we can do another three of these. Good lordy! Where are you hiding my emerald piece, you tube? Come here! A red gate. Alright, Captain Vague. On the sand. Okay. Sir. Thank you. And the treasure chest by the head. Okay, so. Pro tip. Once you've used all three hints. Go into the menu and press the triggers. You can go through them. Treasure chest by the head of a stone statue. Okay. Just making sure that it wasn't circle that triggered it, because I had my finger on that as well. Ha! Huh, why the hell is gun there? A stone statue on the sand. Okay. Oh. What? Was it meant to be on it? What? Red key on the sand. And the treasure chest by the head of stone statue. Ow. Oh god. Okay, that seriously could have ended badly for us. Okay, so it's up here. I think. Or not. I literally said it was in the treasure chest. Fucking heck. So it's got something to do with the sky. We're very close to the third piece. Oh, right there. Come on, Knuckles. Give us a chuckle, pal. Come on. Oh my god! Four minutes, thirty six seconds, twenty eight sec twenty milliseconds. Nice. So now we have a second emblem. I promise you guys gameplay. You're gonna get the gameplay. I hope you enjoy it. And there we have it, the gaming music was uh, sad. nice. It's Tails' theme. Yeah, skip. <laughs> right, so we're going to get uh, Tails versus... I didn't replace the right soundtrack for that. What do we replace it as, I wonder? Boss 2A and 2B. Did it somehow not work? Hmm. Very curious. I'm going to look into that. Ah, right, get shanked, you fat tube. What? He's got a punching glove!
Diva, hey, come on! What the hell is he doing? How can he do that? Ah, <laughs> oh, come here, you fat bastard! Gonna take that damage, you. Ah, oh, you fell for it, you dumbass. Oh, mate, wonderful. I'm still curious about these files, though. Did we somehow mess something up? Hmm. Oh, Amy Rose, no. We don't have enough time to deal with Amy Rose. Ah, she's gonna like absolutely destroy us, but yeah, we didn't place present wind. Wait, should we do that now? Replace present. Although we are doing a fairly good job here. So. That's fine. So what you want to do with Tails is get the biggest combo you can for more points. Maybe we can get up here. Why? Also, why is the shadow through the pole? Oh, thank God we didn't fall down here. Shush, you with your get the light. Ah, we kind of get an air can't we? Yeah, we want, we want to avoid that. We don't need the... Chow Garden card. A key. Why is it not looking at the far away one? Ah, uh, who else is in here that needs to... Oh. Never mind. Oh, this should be fun. Ah, uh, what the hell is this notification I've got? One moment, please. I know it's root. Eight updates. What? Yeah, I'm not changing that just yet. Uh, lovely. So, guys, we didn't replace all of the things I thought we would have. Uh, did we even replace present lane? P lane. We actually did not. We done Metal Harbor, uh, Radical Highway, Shadow's theme. Meant to have been Tails' theme. Oh, we'll be dead. Uh, meant to have replaced bosses 2A and 2B. Boss 7, City Escape 1, 2, and 3. And that's about it. We didn't do presently, for whatever reason. <laughs> oh, we got a cool 500x points. Hey. 
<laughs> oh, we're getting points now. We're getting better points. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're doing good. We could have done with target and that guy's missiles, though. So that's definitely fine. Oh, we should actually uh, keep moving. Got him! Oh, I missed! Oh, there's a lot over there. Excuse you, sir! I'll have my rings back, thank you very much. Come on! Come on! Oh, fine. Arr. Yeah, we're not the fastest that. Um? Oh. Well, it's not my fault I never saw him. Oh, are you for you? Ah, what's over here? Wait, does that not require the flying thing? Or not? <laughs> oh, me! You get radical. Yatta! Oh, I missed one! Are you kidding? 23, hey, that's not too bad. B! Thanks, Tails. This is one of the best runs I've ever had, eh, presently. Oof. What if we put seven rings in hand us? Very much forgotten. Oh. <laughs> Skip. One, two, skip the maloo. There we go, that's friggin' beautiful! Oh, I love this. Got to blue. Sonic is a girl. We want to do this, we can't get across unless we get up here. Oh, light speed shoes! Oh, that's gorgeous. Did we just drop down? Yes. Oh, and here's a wee thing for you. There we go, here's, there's a big tip for you. <laughs> we can overcome all the odds. Oh, great song, that. Excuse you, don't try and roll off the map now. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> Fire. 
Remember, we didn't replace the second part, so that's going to be default. It's going to be the standard thing for that. And we did take longer to get the lights features, so that's a thing. We almost missed all those rings, that's terrible. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. See? Just made it. Uh, I'm disappointed. I am very disappointed. Yeah, we did replace that boss team. Ariwa! That blue hedger again of all places! Faker! I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! You're not even good enough to be my fake! Yeah, I didn't replace the soundtrack here. Get wrecked! Looking a little bit crispy, ain't you, Sonic? I mean, that's what happens when you put a GameCube game. So, meh. Alright, let's see. How will this play into things? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, mate, that's that. This is a really good choice, by the way. Oh. I'm so happy with this. The homing attack is so off on this. Ah, uh, there is something that we can grab over here. There we go! Ancient light! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, we got it! We don't have the bounce brace though. <laughs> Not that we need it, but we could have used it there. But never mind. Oh, look at these elite rings! <laughs> oh man. Yes. 
I don't know if the game will loop uh, soundtracks if it runs out. So we might have to hurry up and finish. Oh yes, we got our lovely five rings. Oh, so helpful. Ah, oh, lovely job there. <laughs> and there we have it! Green Forest now completed. Yeah, we didn't get as many rings as I'd liked, but we still came away with a B. Yeah, whatever he said, Sonic. Not like I understand Japanese or anything. Skip. Ah, fuck. Pumpkin Mountain. Or hell! Gah! So we're gonna stop the hero side there. Uh, come on. Friggin' frack frack. Man. So we're gonna go to story, we'll do the dark side, we'll just do shadows level and see how things turn out. Well, it's not shadow yet, but you know. Iron Gate. We did not replace that one. Hmm. Oh man, we're gonna kill the door. All right, so. Oh yes. We're just gonna collect these rings, because more rings means more points. Which in all honesty, I friggin' enjoy so much. Oh. How do we target them before we can see? So we need to wait until we're like down close enough. Before Tarek can a whole bunch of them. Ha! <laughs> Maybe we jam it for that. What? He keeps avoiding us! Wait, how do we shoot through the door? Oh, me. Wait, did we figure something out? Uh, what was here? Oh, I need a stronger laser for that one to get the upgrade. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Oh, come on! Why are my notifications blowing up all of a sudden? Come on! Oh, it's Stuart Henderson! Okay. Stuart Henderson's another lovely Scottish fella. Uh, you should give his uh, Twitter handle a check. He keeps tagging me and follow, um, Friday followers or something like that. So you'll be able to clearly identify uh, who he is just by looking at my tag. Excuse you? Root? No. Root? Behave yourself. Come on. Ah, oh, what the hell is over here? Friggin' frig frig. 
We can actually go over to the other side there. But I'm not going to. Not yet, at least. Oh, come on! Whatever it takes to friggin' Ah, whatever it takes to get through the level, even if he's jumping about like a madman. Yes. Oh lord, we can't even check. <laughs> oh, he can't stop. Wait, are they really close to the me? That's a glitch. That has to be a glitch, come on! Oh, there's one right there. Nice! Nice! We're doing it. We're, we're getting further. Oh. Hmm. Oh. It's one of these. What? Oh. What? Oh. I see. I see. Oh, that's it. So now we can go get the button and be like, hey. <laughs> Lovely. Absolutely lovely. So Shadow's level is next. So that's going to be a thing. <laughs> Thanks for that, Eggman. So helpful. He's just so helpful sometimes. I could never believe it. If you want to get into deeper customization, you might have to go into the cutscene files and edit it. Oh, fuck! Mm. <laughs> Oh, you suck! <laughs> Worth it! Give me. I want that ring! Bye bye! <laughs> Suck it! I'm exploiting everything in this. <laughs> oh, man, that is just beautiful. Can you believe it? Oh, shush you. 
Desert area. Oh no, do we have to do that? Come on. Oh no, don't be like that. Come on, game. You're better than this. Terrible. <laughs> Give me, I'll take the easy bit out. On the ledge with three red circles. Okay. Right, you, you bastard! You're getting chucked! I'll wait for him to land. Stop following me! Goni drop! Ta! Piss off, homo chow! Uh, let's chuck him in the water. He doesn't like to be manhandled. <laughs> That's it, drown your tube. Oh lordy. A high place. Oh. We're getting very 420 here now. Oh! We got the second piece! Wow! In a chair on the ledge above the big oasis. Uh, this doesn't appear to be the big oasis. Which means it might mean the other location, because there's two locations to this part. Okay, thanks for that. Hey, right, come here, you! Where the hell are we meant to go? Because I know there's a turtle that could take you to another oasis. I hate it. I hate everything about these emerald hunting levels. And you can't convince me otherwise. Whoa, someone's firing bombs at me. Ow! You're evil, you kidding me? Oh. Then what the hell did we do? Okay, Omo Chow, tell me what to do. Hey, come on, tell me. Tell! Oh my god, come on. Don't be that guy. This is a small waste. I can't kind of believe I gave him the time of day. Yeah. Yeah, I put him back down. Picked him up again. It's like, let's just die now. It's about to be. Oh. Hi, turtle. Can you take me to the big oasis, please? Oh. Ha ha ha! Is it up here? Is it up here? Of course it would be. Very obvious. Um, what? On a ledge with three red circles. Okay. I'll have that though. Oh, come on. How am I meant to get that? Terrible. It's 
On a ledge, she said. Wait, can we not do? Oh, it's right above us. I think. <sighs> Wait, can we not pick that skull up? Okay. So it's over this side. I'm having that wee kitty. Um, what? No, come on, scream. Let, let me see. Tell me your secrets, my friend. On top of a palm tree. Okay. Oh. Doesn't help! A high place. Also doesn't help! Now I'm angry. Oh. Are you kidding? Oh wow! Big shout out to Stuart Henderson for subscribing to the channel. I hope you stay buddy. I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you stay and enjoy the content I have on the channel. There's over 400 videos closing in on 500. And to anyone that's new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Click the big subscribe button. Click the notification bell. And you know. If you want to support the channel monetary wise. Why don't you think about sending a super chat during a live stream. Donating to the link below. Or. Or. Becoming a channel member to get amazing benefits. Yeah, we don't we can't get that yet. <sighs> it's going to be a slow ass evening, I think. See, I generally like. Oh, I generally like Eggman's levels because they're they're decent. They're, they're sort of like puzzles in a way. Oh yawn! It's the first yawn of the street. And I hope this, uh, this amazing amount of gameplay is more than enough to make up for the amount of time you spent actually trying to mod and install the game and all sorts. So yeah, I hope it's all been worth it for you guys. I hope you've learned something. So what, what I'll also do is, for people that just want to see the game, I will put a text uh, tutorial in the description. Well, not the description, the... I'll make a pinned comment for it. And then you can watch me fail epically at playing Sonic Adventure 2. Wait, do we just jump from here?
Excuse you! Obviously, you won't get to hear my remix. Because it's an, the end boss theme. But, you know, that could very much change. But guys, if you want, if you want more Sonic Adventure 2 content, like the video, give it a good, good old thumbs up. Oh, yeah, give, give it a good old thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe and stay notified by clicking the notification bell. Because we've been live for two hours seven minutes. Fantastic. Are you kidding? Oh, God. No, I'm angry. He's angry. He's angry. <laughs> We were on that! Hmm. Let's try and not speedrun this part. Oh lordy, no, we don't need that. We don't want to do that. Yush. Yeah, let's try and not over jump. That's kind of how we die. Oh, heck yes. Yeah, let's go boom. We don't need to do that. Did we, we didn't even get the damn thing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to stand up for a brief minute. Because you know, sitting down for quite a while does take its toll on you. So, please keep that in mind. Alright, there we go. That was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. So that's us through one can of Red Bull. Oh, better be careful. Yeah. See, the thing we want to do is take our time. What was the other part? There was a thing that you could jump over to. There. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Death. Oh, are you absolute troll? Where the hell was he? Oh, now we start from way back here. Okay, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Uh. I know my gameplay really isn't the most enthralling. But you know... Mm.
I very much hope people enjoy seeing me fail. At least I'm nowhere near as bad as Darkseid Phil. Like, oh boy, that guy really can't play games. And then he has the gall to go and blame it on his controller or the person to cheat. Or that the game's badly made. As opposed to him admitting, or rather not admitting, that he doesn't have any skill with any set game. Like, he played. Like, a bunch of people got onto the guy. A bunch of people got onto Darkseid Phil because he was doing bad games. There was even. There was even a time when he was doing Metal Gear Solid 2, and people were getting onto him for playing the game wrong. Now, credit where credit is due. That side Phil is still doing what he's doing after like what ten years or whatever. Oh lovely, somebody's trying to reply to me already. One moment please, I can't let that go. Don't worry, I'm still here. Don't worry, it's a Dragon Ball related thing. Which is kind of weird. Because there's a bunch of parallels between Dragon Ball and uh, freaking Sonic. But that is neither here nor there. Like, the, there's a question that was being asked, uh, who effed up more in the Cell, the Cell Games uh, saga? Or rather, the full, uh, the full uh, Artificial Human saga, aka the Android saga. Was it Cell or Krillin? And my, my response was clear as day. My response was... No, no, um, not Cell or Krillin. Uh, who, who effed up the most? Krillin or Vegeta? What the hell? And I picked uh, Vegeta based on the fact that, uh, that Cell would have still tried to absorb uh, number 18 even if Krillin had shut up now. I'm distracted. Oh. Yeah, let's whistle at the pipe. There we go. <laughs> Excuse you? Oh, lordy. Okay. Oh God. What? Another one? Hey, right, come here, you. One of them bloody chow animals floating on the thing sand. Yep. 
I see this. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, fantastic! It's taken us over six minutes to do this. This is meant to be back when Sonic was still all about speed, but they've introduced multiple characters. Something that games in the future, even in 2019, are uh, still take advantage of. Wait, what? Oh. I see how this works. Yes. Oh, mate. Finally. Yes. Yes. And the argument for the cell game stuff. My argument would be that it's most it's Vegeta's fault who or who effed up the most. Based on that failure rank. I right, based on even if Krillin was able to disable number seventeen, uh, number eighteen, Cell would have probably sensed him try to do it because he sensed that there were people there. Tien was there. He knew Tien was there, and Tien was clapping Cell with a trigonometry beam. I mean, tri beam. Skip! Skip to Malu! Oh, yes! Here we go. If my file naming is correct, then this is going to be Never Turn Back by Crush Warrior. There we have it. <laughs> Bloody tastic, I mean. This is absolutely fantastic, you guys. Oh. Yeah, we effed that one off. That is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Bonus points. Yeah, I also forget. Uh, I kind of forgot that he gets light speed dash as well. Which is weird. Oh yes, green shield. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> there we go, that's the proper way to do this. Oh, come on. Three, two, one. Hut, 
<laughs> oh, that's is so badass. Oh, come on. This moment on. <laughs> Wait, what? Is it going to loop? Okay, songs here don't loop. Noted. Yes. Yeah, you should really loop your songs, guys. Fantastic. Kampekida. Nice. We got we got our first A. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, we don't worry about that. Oh, come on, I want to have a story board. Yeah, we're quitting. Nice. So, right. This has been wonderful doing all this. He said we'll try not to burp into the mic. I'm not rude. I want to thank everyone and anyone who's joined tonight. It's been fantastic having you. It's quite late. I'm just a wee bit tired. However, the yawning was nowhere near as bad as it was last night. So that's a positive, I guess. But anyway, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I really do. Because it, it was good for me to get back into it. And... It was clear that I was worried, mistakes were made, things may or may not have been left out, I'll have to have a think about that. Uh, especially when I'm writing, especially when I'm writing up the, the, the top comment for this. Because obviously I'm going to pin it so people can see. Like, all in caps, WRITTEN TUTORIAL! And then skip to X point in the tutorial. So, that's definitely a thing. But we've spent over an hour playing, I think. Hopefully. Uh, I will be re-replacing Caramel Dancing, so... Yeah, we're not going to play with that. Anyway, guys. If you have If you've made it this far in, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click the notification bell to be notified whenever I stream, upload, or even do something in the community tab. Should be fantastic, I hope. Oh, there's my ears. Nice. Um, anyway, guys. If you want to support the channel monetarily, you can do it monthly by becoming a channel member. It works exactly like Patreon. So, there's that. For as little as 99 pence a month, uh, you will get access to loyalty badges. Emoji that I'll be adding in the future. And... Basically, every all all new people, everyone who's new that become a member, get a shout out on the live streams, and get credited on the edited videos. Now that's a massive benefit for you, because if you run a YouTube channel, then your channel gets shouted out, and that will potentially draw subscribers to you. So that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Uh, there's a donation link in the description uh, for stream elements, I believe. You can use that to donate however much you want to the channel. Uh, it will all be used 
for the channel, like games, content, equipment upgrades, and stuff just generally for the channel, games, consoles, and whatnot. But the guys, everyone, thanks for joining. This has been one of my longest streams. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. We are so close to hitting 1500. Once we hit 1500, Origin of GTA Rage will happen on a GTA 5 stream with a Q&A. Oh my lordy. I hope you all join me for that. I want to push forward. Push forward. <laughs> Once again, before it's old, I want to thank you all for joining. I, pardon me. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. I'll be back on Monday with more GTA. So from me to you, have a great one. And I'll see you on Monday.